One, two, three. All right, here we go. What's up everybody, Motorcycle Mouse? I'm here today on the Dragon with Mrs. Mouse, with Minnie. And uh, so today we're just out riding the Dragon. This is her first time ever being on the Dragon. But uh, she is by no means a newbie. This is just her first, first time here on the Dragon. But she trusts me a lot, so I guarantee in this first turn here, got the straight peg and she didn't even flinch. So. I could drive this thing off a cliff and until we hit at the bottom she would think I had everything under control so that should make for a little bit more uh, playful ride today. So uh, anyway, yeah, I haven't, haven't done a moto vlog in a few weeks. I've been doing the survival videos. Um, I took some vacation from work because one of the guys that I served with uh, committed suicide and I was going to try and I was gonna try to make the funeral, but I didn't get to, so I just basically took the vacation time to kinda of decompress and relax a little bit. Uh, oh, I thought that was a cop at first. Just to kinda of relax a little bit, you know, get my head back, get kinda of motivated about work again, you know, that sort of thing. So it's been a pretty nice vacation. Today's the last day of my vacation, so it's been pretty nice. But, um, other than that, uh, uh, just a few things to talk about. Um, I know you guys have heard about the whole story about this basketball owner, team owner that's kind of been a racist douchebag. And uh, I don't know what his issue is. I just wished they would stop talking about it. It's getting on my nerves. I didn't say it, you know what I mean? If they don't tell me every time Al Sharpton says something racist, stop telling me every time some white guy says something racist. I don't care. And all they're doing is making it awkward for me to sit there and white guilt and eat Roman noodles. You know what I mean? At work. Come on, you know? But uh, anyway, yeah, guys, just figured I would uh, kind of touch base with you guys and figured I'd come out to the Dragon and bring Mrs. Mouse with me. So we're going to have a good day out here. I don't know who these guys are in front of me. I'm about to pass them. I don't know what these bikes are they're on. they pull over I'll pass them if not it's gonna be a boring video we came out at a minute ago I had the other helmet on and it was pretty fun there's no warning tabs left by the way that's the uh, crash bars up up front there's literally no warning tab it's starting to dig into my um, to my foot floorboards the little bolt or whatever it is that's supposed to warn you, hey, you're getting kind of low, is completely gone. I'll take a picture of it. But so I have no warning up to the point that I start scrubbing the crash bars. And if you dig into them too deep, it likes to skip across the ground. And that's a bad feeling when you're laid over sideways. God, I wish these guys would go. I'm going to back off from them a little bit so I can enjoy the ride a little. Let them go up ahead a little. It's been some beautiful weather. I mean, you guys know me. I ride all year round, so this stuff has been just awesome, you know. Just We had like two days of spring, and that was about it. Okay, they're pulling over for me. Come on, guys. Is he letting me by? Come on, buddy. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just want to ride a little bit faster than this.
sometimes I get overzealous about getting to pass somebody. And so I hit the next turn really hot by accident, just, you know, because I'm happy to go around them. <laughs> that turns out to be a mistake sometimes. I come in really hot, have to control that panic response that you get sometimes wanting to, wanting to grab some brakes. That's what I was talking about, is skipping across the ground if you dig in. And she's totally not flinching or anything. I mean, you can tell she's, I've messed with her enough on this thing that she gives me complete trust. So it makes it to where I can actually, you know, feel a lot more comfortable on the bike. The last time I did the uh, Dragon Medic video, um, that was the girl's first time really on a, on a bike for, you know, any type of road like this. So, you know, anytime I, did anything kind of crazy or scrape pegs or anything like that she was she would freak out and it, it made me real nervous because I didn't know if I could you know really handle it if, if it started to uh, if the bike upset it and started shaking if she would just stiffen up and I know she probably would have but that's you know that's not her fault that's because she's not really rode very much that comes with experience and you know I should not be as comfortable with the dragon as I am this is really uh, you need to have respect for this road. That's what that tree is for in the front, you know, to kind of get your respect. But I guess because I've been out it so much. Alvin Armstrong, you know what I'm talking about, man. We've been out it so much. We just, uh, it's a playground now, and that's not what you want it to be. You actually, you want to hold some respect to it. And I do, don't get me wrong, but I've gotten more and more brave. And this type of bike, that's not a good idea. This bike does not lean nearly as much as the Jixxer did. That's not to say it's not fun. I'm having a blast. Oh, cops. I don't know if they're turning around. I'm pretty sure I was doing the speed limit. Nobody even warned me. I didn't see anybody tap their head. I'll check back in the video, but he must have snuck up on everybody. I'll have to warn others. I don't know how many more is down here. or something in the road right there. a nice ride up here today i think this is the first time i've ever really come up here and it wasn't like the threat of bad weather at all it's just really nice weather the whole way here 
the, the ride up here is just as beautiful as this, you know. I mean, of course, there's no scenery here. This is, uh, the road is the attraction here, but there's some beautiful scenery on the way up here. The attraction here is just these turns, you know. Killboy picture time. I love these turns like this. Those are my favorites. The longest turns are the are the best ones. You can start to judge the apex and get in it and it just feels like your bike has just got glue on the tires it just sticks to it and whenever it doesn't feel like it's got oh that felt good whenever it doesn't feel like it's got glue onto it that's not a good feeling <laughs> you hit that yellow line a little too hard sometimes you don't want to go over that yellow line especially not if you got oncoming traffic we saw a harley on the way up here almost eat it into a car into corvette at that the new corvettes out here they got like the camouflage paint on it so you can't exactly tell what the contour lines of it are so if you take a picture of it uh you know and they can't you can't really tell how much has changed or whatever because the way they have the design is pretty cool um and it's got the manufacturer tag on it and everything <laughs> I know she's having a blast. A lot of you guys that's rode the dragon, you know where I'm at right here. Killboy's coming up. Oh, this is moonshine photo right here. appreciate summer if all you do is ride in the summer you don't appreciate it to its fullest you appreciate it but you don't appreciate it to its fullest if you haven't rode in seven degree weather you know what i mean uh, so back to the moto vlog about the news and all that uh i'm tired of hearing about this airplane i wish they'd find it but jesus if you can't find it leave me alone about it I don't know what they're covering up if they're playing that. Jesus, imagine if a celebrity was on that freaking airplane. They wouldn't have to have any other material. I hate listening to the news at work. Like, they play the news. I hate it because they'll be talking about that plane for like the 90th time that day. And then they bring in an, yet another expert that says, yep, we can't find it. You know what I mean? Come on. How many people you got to tell? How many people have to tell you that the battery is dead for you to say, oh yeah, the battery's probably dead? We get it, we get it. The battery is dead. You know generally where it's gonna be in the South Koreans. Uh, probably should have been Johnny, or the Malaysians should have been Johnny on the spot whenever it went off the radar. We got that. Here's US 129 photos. Thumbs up on this one. She's just still just chilling back there. 
my son's got comfortable in this thing too, man. He's got to, like when he first got on it, he had a death grip on my seat, on the back of my seat. And uh, now all of a sudden he's just like, I turn around, he's just got his arms folded. He's giving chicks the thumbs up and winking at them and crap. He's like seven years old. He's macking on people at red lights, you know? Cracks me up. I'm sure you guys can tell from my last video compared to this one I'm way more comfortable with her on the back because she doesn't upset the bike when we scrape but like I say that's because I pretty much messed with her so much on it and done such stupid stuff that she knows pretty much the only way out of it is to trust me it's a lot safer to trust me and just go with it than it is to pinch me scream set up straight all that crap I've had some really good riders that's been friends of mine on here though uh, so you know you guys remember uh the, you guys, i don't know if you guys remember when i brought Haley out here she she trusted me up to the point that the tire went flat and then there was no trust no more when that tire started showing metal on the way back home there was no more trust <laughs> she got back on it i'll say oh there, there is trust she got back on it but uh, very reluctantly and that's because i was her only ride out of the place and <laughs> I had to talk her back into it. But up to that point, she was, you know, completely trusting. She's moved away now. She moved back down to Florida, so that kind of sucks. You know, she was a really good friend. But it's understandable. That's for, that's for the best. Excuse me. Allergies have been kicking my butt out here. Something out here is blooming that I am really allergic to. Got look like he's about to be in a bike magazine. I'm sitting there chilling. We're almost to the overlook already. God, fat ass. <laughs> huh? All right, guys. Well, motorcycle mouse. Be back to you as soon as I can with another video.
I guess that'll have to do. Cue that outro music.